You are listening to the O'Brien and Bolt Podcast. It's springtime, and it's a good time to talk to Mr. Fix-It. Hello there, Mr. Fix-It. Hello, Michael. How are you? How do you... How, how are you? Well, I'm doing just fine. And of course, during the spring, you know, people's attention turns to, well, fixing things. But of course, most of us have been inside for well, what? Mike, not just fixing things, but it turns to love too. You know, well, I mean, that's what it's all about, right? That, yes, that's it's, right. Uh, it's all about love. All you need is love, Mister Fix It. All you need is love. Now, boy, I'm going to write that down. Well, what else? All you need is love. Uh, do you- that should. Yeah. That should be that should be written down. It's kind of catchy. Now, people have been inside for maybe well over a year. And many people have already. Well, it really hasn't been that rough of a winter time, has it, Michael? No, not a lot of rain around here in Northern California. Wish we had a little more. One of the lowest rain totals of uh, of a recent memory, probably 10, 15, 20, 30 years. No, we have a drought on the way. They say drought. D r o u g h t. Yes. You're very quotable. Well, thank you. So quotable. you're saying to... Per- all you need is love. Right. And all you need, need is love. Is mm-hmm. L-O-V-E. Okay. So L-U-V is the way the British used to say it back in the day. Right. Now, when you say it's time to prepare for the unpreparable, give us an example. Well, what are you going to do? We don't have any water there. This could be the worst fire season of the of the of recent memory, going back 10, 15, 20 years. Well, fires are no joking matter here in Northern California, that's for sure. Well, you've got to clear a defensible space around your property, your rental unit, or if you uh, if you're just a a, 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 room, a tenant or a roommate, uh, or you know somebody that is unable, let's say an elderly person, they mm-hmm. can't do it all by themselves. They may need your help. That's right. As a matter of fact, you don't even, why bother them by asking? I think I would just, you go over to your elderly neighbors and just start clearing the brush away and the make it defensive. All you need is love, that, Michael. Uh, my point is- You know who said that? Uh, the Beatles. You well, said it. Well, I heard the- You said it, you son of a gun. I heard the Beatles say it. I wrote it down too. All you need is love. Thank you. Well, it is springtime. And of course, love is in the air, but also as the days go longer, the nights, uh, the days get a little warmer, mm-hmm. the sun rises higher in the sky and it gets hot, very hot, unbearable sometimes, Michael. What, Am I too loud? What can you, no, what can you do about it? I don't, well, I don't gotta, mean about you being too loud, but I mean, what can you do about it being so hot? Well, I, I don't have to be this loud. I can be quieter, well, too. Okay. So what do you do? How do you uh, prepare for the hot weather around your Well, house? you've got to clear a defensible space around your, your, around your property, that, that, that which you cherish. A man's home is his capital and a woman's home, too, mm-hmm. I might add. Yes, it's so uh, true. It doesn't matter mm-hmm. to me. Mm-hmm. It's where you live. It's, right. your, it's your abode. Right. I like that word, abode. Oh. So you've got to get the uh, shovel out, the hoe, the rake, and whatnot. You've got to scrape away those weeds that are now, later in the summertime, hot and dry and dusty. Just saying yes to all kinds of sparks and flames and whatnot and you've got to you've got to get rid you've got to get rid of it you've got to get that uh, rid of that undergrowth get rid of that it. dry that that's it's just a it's kindling wood for a fire that a wannabe forest fire right now a lot of people plant things around their house as a, a sort of as a natural screen or a fence for some privacy so if we're removing all of this what do you what do you put in its place so you do still have some privacy well, what have you got to hide well i don't have anything well, to what are, you, what are you hiding from? Nothing. But I'm saying, you know, people, not everybody's going to want to, you know, to be... Ex- well, you put up curtains in the window. So if you do like to walk around uh, without any clothes on or whatever you do, Michael, in your spare time, mm-hmm. whatever your hobby might be, maybe uh, some of your neighbors don't uh, aren't particularly comfortable with you sharing it with them. Well, I don't know and about don't that. You but... just keep the curtains closed okay. while you're doing well, that kind of thing. Let's go. Let's talk about Hello? Let's talk about that. How do you put up curtains? That's a good home project, Mister Fix It. What? Where do you start when you're uh, going to put curtains? Well, curtains up. You know what? I'm going to segue here right now, and I'm going to say, yeah, put up curtains that are non-flammable. Well, very good. Yes. How about the? How about tying those two things together? You really tied them together. Don't put up flammable curtains. No. And don't. And if you want to, if you want to put up curtains that you don't want to be able to see through, them, so don't put up something sheer, something lacy, mm-hmm. something you can see through. You want to. You want. You. You want your privacy. Right. 
Now, right. So you pick out some material. You don't want people to know that you're madly in love with Jeopardy at seven o'clock every evening. Maybe that's none of their darn business, is it, Michael? Well, that's right. What what you do in your own home well, is your own business, neighbor. Exactly. What are you looking at? Keep moving. What are you looking at, Keep neighbor? Keep moving. Keep moving. Show's over, Michael. Keep that dog off my lawn, please. Yeah. K E E P T H A T D O G dog. Yeah, that's how it's off. How long is your show today? Well, we're almost out of time. I'm so sorry to say. So, uh, L A W N. After you've picked out the material, hey, keep that dog off my lawn. The material for the for the curtain, something non flammable, and something that mm-hmm. it allows some privacy. Then what? Going to need a screwdriver. A screw. Now, don't you need to measure at some point? Well, don't you need to know figure that? out how how much material you need, how long your Curtains, are they uh, floor to ceiling? Generally, eight feet is the norm. Is that the norm? That's the norm. That's the norm for curtains, okay? Eight feet. And uh, then, so what, so you uh, you need a screwdriver. What else would you need, Mr. Fix? Well, you need a level. You need a level. You know what that is? L-E-V-E-L. I like the word level. You know why? Because it's a palindrome, Michael. And, And why don't you explain to our listener what a palindrome, palindrome well, is. Well, a palindrome is a word like Bob, which is a name, mm-hmm. uh, that sa- spells the same way backwards or forwards. Madam, I'm Adam. Well, that's it. This is such an educational program. All right. A man, a plan, a canal. So you need a level to keep it. You want it to be level, obviously. Now, what about, uh, how are you going to attach the uh, curtain? Uh, imagine curtain. Screwdriver, hooks. Screwdrivers and hooks. You want to keep the curtain up there, don't you? Well, you do. So you got to attach it to a, a curtain rod. A curtain R O D, not a palindrome. Good. Otherwise, what were you hang the curtain? You can't just. You've got to. You got to be able to close the curtains too, and you just you pull it along that rod that goes the length of the of the width of the curtain that you're trying to keep the neighbors from uh, peer, peering in. Right. And just to see whether or not you're wearing clothes and what you're watching. Sure. So how do you attach the... Put that in the form of a question, Michael. Okay. How do you attach the curtain rod? Now, some sometimes I've noticed, you know, you're trying to, to sink a screw into the to the wall, and it just kind of, there's nothing there. It's just plaster, or it's a drywall. Yeah, sure. Falls well, out. you might need a molly. Oh. M-O-L-L-Y, molly. Okay. And uh, what that does is it expands inside your wall. So you've got, have you got a drill at home, Michael? I, I actually a do. Drill? I have a drill? I have a drill. You got a hand drill? I have a, no, I have an electric drill. I have a but hand drill, but I can't, so, I can't find it. I think it. we're talking, Michael, I think we're talking about the same thing. Mm. Yeah, it's a hand drill, but it's not a hand uh, powered drill. Well, it's well, a, it's why, don't, a, why don't we? Why don't we just skip that part? And we'll just. Is, I think this is we'll important. Just, you we'll need just a, assume you're holding it in your hand, right? You got a hand drill in your hand. Yes. Okay. So then what? Well, they don't use the word hand drill anymore. They just don't do it. They just call it a. They just call it a drill, Michael. Mm-hmm. Simple. A drill. Right. right. Everybody understands. Yeah. When you add the word hand on there, it takes me back to a time that long ago, 10, 15, 20 years ago, before the drought. It'd be like calling gloves hand gloves. I mean, it doesn't make sense. Of course, gloves are for the hand. So you don't need to say hand. Have you ever been to Germany, Michael? Germany? Yes, I have. I've been in the airport. You know what, that, you know what the word for a glove is in Germany? A glove? It's a handschuh. H A N D. S C H U E. A hand it's a shoe. shoe for your hand. Well, isn't, isn't that funny? funny? Hand shoe. Okay, so you have the drill. You know what a bra is, don't you? Well, I do know what one is. It's yet. a brost halter. I did not that know that. That stops the brost. Wow. Hey, why did you. Yes, well, now getting back to the curtain. So, uh, so you have the drill, and you're going to put you're going to use it. To- put a hole in the wall. Uh, put the bracket up there. Screw the bracket in. Place the curtain rod on the bracket from end to end, from the width of the window. Yeah. Make sure that you keep your uh, curtains uh, th- through the curtain rod uh, strung up there, real nice. Yeah. And then you uh, open and close them uh, as you see fit. I so see. It's pretty simple, Mike. All right, but what, where does a molly come in? I, I, you don't think you, well, you the skipped molly over the when you, molly part. You want, to keep that, you want to keep that screw in the wall, don't you? Yes, you do. You want to keep it in. So the molly is a little like plastic uh, thing for the screw. It's a little plastic thing you insert into the hole in the wall that you made with your hand drill, Michael. 
and you put that molly in there, put the screw in the molly. The molly expands when the screw enters the, uh, into the, the, uh, uh, so let's say that, uh, an electrical outlet has a male and a female part to it. So the molly has the same concept, yet it's just a little un- more uncomfortable to talk about. Well, all you need is love. Mr. Fixit, I want to thank you for... Uh, That's what it says right here. I wrote it down. All you need is love. Uh, thank you for being on the program today. And- I sure hope we helped some people too today. I sure hope so too. I sure hope we got got people ready for the for a long summer and a lot of hot and a lot of... A lot of Wind. Well, time, wind. time will a lot tell. Of wind happening here today. Time will tell. You've been listening to O'Brien and Bolt, the podcast. I'm Michael O'Brien. And I'm Jeff Bolt. And our job is to entertain as well as inform. You know, if you like what you heard today, please give us a big thumbs up on your source for all your podcasts. And you can find us on Facebook at O'Brien and Bolt. Thanks.